Hey guys, Brian from PFC here with the uh, second part of our bad magazine drill. Sometimes training days run long, so here we are out in the uh, in the dark with the crickets. Uh, you'll remember in part one, that was when we had a magazine that failed to drop free of the weapon system. Part two of bad magazine is a little bit different. Uh, this is going to involve a magazine where we have damage to the follower and it's failing to lock the, uh, the working parts of the gun to the rear on that last round. Uh, which is basically actually how an AK runs every single time you uh, you run through every single mag. But we're talking specifically about the M4 AR style platform and then the semi-automatic handguns that are in common circulation. So the first thing you're going to need to do is a little bit of destructive modification. Uh, if you understand the big picture here, that shouldn't bother you too much. But taking a handgun magazine and on the small notch on the follower that intercepts the slide stop, we're going to take a Dremel tool, we're going to buzz that off. On the carbine magazine at the back side of the follower where it intercepts the bolt catch, we're going to buzz that off. Again, using a Dremel tool and then we'll do a little check on the gun to make sure before we hit the range that it actually is not working. Uh, once we get out there, essentially what's going to happen is this. You'll be firing and you will incur a failure to fire. And when you get that failure to fire, the common fix, the accepted fix, the taut fix to that is a tap rack and then a reassess. Unless we're with a carbine or a shoulder fired weapon, we're at close distance, we're transitioning to a secondary weapon system. This version of Bad Magazine is a hell of a lot harder than the first one where the mag didn't fall free. And the reason for that that we discovered is this. When we're taught a remediation, when we're taught a fix for the gun, we are taught that if we do it right and we follow the steps, it will work. It will fix the gun. And in this case, it doesn't work. So when we go into that tap rack cycle, we come back up, we get a secondary click on the gun. And in many cases, you'll see the instructors, we actually wind up tapping that magazine again instead of saying, look, didn't work the first time. Let's go ahead and unass that magazine, get a fresh source into the gun or transition to a secondary, uh, secondary weapon system. So we ran this on the handgun. We ran this on the carbine. We even did it involving some, uh, some barricades and everything. And it, uh, it actually became uh, pretty challenging. So again, you'll just need a simple Dremel tool. Uh, you'll need some, uh, some thought process as well. Uh, we would say that probably the biggest hurdle to your uh, getting this drill is trying to sort of remember the sequence or to game it. Don't do that. Just listen to the gun. The gun is talking to you. Do what that necessitates. And then if that does not work, then go into a secondary or a, or a reload style fix on the, uh, the weapon system. Give this one a try. We think you guys will like it a lot. And um, one final note, you can take uh, this version and layer it with the first version as well. Meaning that when you have that bad magazine in there that fails to lock the working parts open, you can also have the same bad magazine with a piece of tape on the body of the magazine that fails to drop free, which necessitates a strip as well. Give these two a try. We think you guys will like them a lot. Stay safe.